A regular established workflow is essential for success in managing your photos in Lightroom. Hi, I'm Bob Young of Asheville Visions Photography, and here's how to do it. In this day of digital cameras, photographers tend to take more photos on a photo shoot. You may come home with hundreds, if not even thousands, of photos after a long day of shooting. So how do you work your way through importing and evaluating those photos so that you keep and work on only the best ones? The workflow I'm showing you here today is one that I use, and it is a three-phase workflow. The first phase is import, or the process of getting your photos into Lightroom. To begin our import, we click on the import button in the lower left corner of Lightroom. We need to indicate the source of our photos. This can be the camera, a memory card, or in our case here, a folder on our computer. We have several options of what to do with our photos as we import them. We can copy them in as a digital negative, or we can just simply copy them, we can move them, or we can add them to our catalog. Your options will depend on what the circumstances happen to be. So then, how do we handle these files as we are importing them into Lightroom? Here, we are choosing to build smart previews. We are telling Lightroom not to import suspected duplicates. And for me, I always make a second copy of my files as I'm importing them to another hard drive. I choose to rename my files on import to a standard template that I have created. The template consists of a date followed by custom text, which I'm typing here as workshop, and a sequence number, which Lightroom automatically increments as it imports the photos. Now I want to apply some presets as I'm doing the importing so I don't have to do this later. My first selection basically shows what settings my camera was in when I took the photos. These photos were taken with a Sony camera and these are landscapes. Then I want to apply some metadata presets. The metadata preset that I have includes my copyright information as well as ranking every photo as it's imported with two stars. And I'll explain why that is in a moment. Now we enter keywords for this shoot. This shoot was taken in Cataloochee Valley in the Great Smokies National Park in Western North Carolina, and it was of an old settlement. I'm applying these keywords since they fit all 25 photos that I've imported. Now I select a destination. For this example, I am choosing my external hard drive where I store all of my photos, and in this case, I'm storing them in a folder called Photo Workflow under Tutorials, and I click the Import button. While we're importing, we'll speed up the video a bit. After the photos are imported, we now begin building the smart previews and the one-to-one -one previews. The next phase of our workflow is going through the 25 photos we just imported one by one and deciding whether we want to continue working with each one of them or not. Now we're back in Lightroom, but before we begin our review process, I want to explain something here. I have previously created several smart collections. The first smart collection is a smart collection of all photos that have been rated two stars. And this is the 25 photos that we just imported because of the preset. I have a selection of three stars, which are photos to be processed. 
Then I have a four star collection and then a five star collection. The five star collection is considered to be the best of the best. So here we are back in the two star to be reviewed smart collection. So now when time permits, we step through each of the photos. My first pass through is to determine whether I want to keep the photo or not. So we simply look at each photo. If we want to keep it, we move on. If we don't want to keep it, we press the X key. This indicates reject for the photo. So let's keep this photo. Let's reject this one. Keep that one. And we'll reject that one. Reject that one too. And we'll reject that one. And eh, this could be reasonable. We might be able to work something with it, so we'll leave it. This one, not terribly interesting, so we'll reject. The blackboard in the old schoolhouse, reject. This shot has potential, we'll leave it. Too dark, we'll reject it. Also too dark, we'll reject it. Uh, that's similar to the other one, so we'll, let's reject that. We won't worry about that. This photo has an interesting perspective, so let's keep it. We have two here, which are very similar. I think I like this one better than this one, so we'll reject the second one. Moving on, we have a distance shot of a barn. A lot of green, the barn's not terribly prominent. We'll reject that one. This one may have promise. And we move on. Okay, this one looks pretty good. This one, too dark, we'll reject. Not terribly interesting, reject. Not terribly interesting, reject. We have two here very similar. This one blocks some of the house in the background, so we'll reject that one. But let's keep that one. And then we have our last photo of another cabin, which might be of interest, so let's keep that. We now want to step through the 10 photos that we have not rejected. But first, we want to hide the rejected photos. We do this by pulling up the filter bar. To access the filter bar, press the backslash key. We then want to look at the attribute filter and select all unflagged photos by clicking on the middle flag. We are left with the 10 photos that we want to work with. We'll scroll back up to the top. We'll go through these photos one by one by giving them either a three, which moves them into the to be processed group, or a four, which puts them into the finished group, which means we don't want to process them any further, at least at this point. Now this photo of the church has some potential and we may want to spend some time working on processing it to see if we can bring that potential out. So we'll press three to move it into the to be processed category. Notice that as soon as we give it a three star rating, it disappears from our two star group. Now the next two photos, we're not interested in processing right now. So we'll give each one of those a four star rating. Which brings us now to the side of the barn photo, which has some possibilities that we might like to explore in further processing. So let's give it a three star rating. Now the next four photos are ones that we don't really want to deal with right now. They may have some potential in the future, so let's set them aside and mark them with four stars to put them in the finished category and we can come back to them later. Now this photo looks like it has some immediate potential and we might want to uh, process it a bit. So we'll make it a three star photo to move it into the to be processed category. The last photo we'll put in four stars and we'll deal with that later. We are left now with no photos visible in our to be reviewed group. Remember that there are 15 rejects in this group, but we have filtered them out. We can always later go to the library and delete our rejected photos. We always have a backup of the deleted photos that we made when we imported them originally. Now we move into the third and final phase of our workflow. This is the processing phase. This is where most of our work is to be done. So here we have our three photos which we've set aside for processing. We're not going to be addressing the processing steps in this instructional video. 
but we might take this photo of the church into Lightroom's develop module. We could take it into Photoshop or into one of the many different plugins that help you enhance or modify or alter the appearance of your photo in ways that are suitable to your tastes. So once we've finished this photo, we we'll say that we like it and we want to move it into our portfolio because it's a keeper. So we set it to a five star rating by pressing five and that photo now leaves the three star group. The next photo, the side of the barn, we go through similar steps. Depending on that photo, we pick different plugins, we pick different processing steps or whatever. But that also turns out to be a keeper and we want to make it five stars. And we keep moving that way through each of the photos, deciding what we're going to do and then its ultimate destination. Is it going to be in our portfolio? Is it going to be simply in our four-star finished collection? Are we going to reject it or just leave it here in the three-star collection where we'll get back to it later? That choice is up to you. This is Bob Young. Thanks for watching.